hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, in today's video we are going to study about hexadecimal to binary conversion technique or how to convert a hexadecimal number uh, having a base of 16 into its equivalent binary or base 2 form so uh, in a similar way that we did in octal to binary and binary to octal conversion, first we have to establish a relationship between each of the digits of the hexadecimal number system and the binary number system. Now we know that a total of 16 symbols okay 16 digits is allowed in the hexadecimal number system okay so a total of 16 symbols are allowed from 0 to f okay 0 to f so what we have done here is that in one column we have note down the digits or the symbols of the hexadecimal number system and in another column we have represented the binary representation of that symbol or that digit we have represented that digit in binary form so in this column the hexadecimal column we have all the hexadecimal symbols from 0 to f that is 15 and in this column we have represented their binary equivalents for example 0 in hexadecimal can be written as 0000, zero, zero, zero as a 4 bit combination 4 bit grouping now remember in binary to octal and octal to binary we represented the hexadecimal sim uh, sorry the uh, octal symbols in 3 bit groupings in octal to binary binary to octal we represented each of the digit that is from 0 to 7 the octal symbols in 3 bit groupings but in hexadecimal we are using 4 bit groupings now the reason here is that the total of 16 symbols are allowed in hexadecimal number system 16 is equal to 2 to the power 4 so it means that we require a total of 4 binary digits to represent all the symbols of the hexadecimal number system there are 8 symbols were allowed in octal system 8 is equal to 2 to the power 3 that's why we represented it in 3 bit form but here 16 symbols are there from 0 to f that is 0 to 15 16 is equal to 2 to the power 4 and 4 bits are required here the binary digits combinations to represent each of the symbol of the hexadecimal number so 0 can be represented as 0 0 0 0 1 as 0 0 0 1 2 as 0 0 1 0 3 as 0 0 1 1 4 as 0 1 0 0 5 as 0 1 0 1 6 as 0 1 1 0 7 as 0 1 1 1 8 as 1 0 0 0 9 as 1 0 0 1 a that is 10 since it's an alphanumeric code 10 is represented as a in hexadecimal system 10 as 1010 11 or b as 1011 c or 12 as 1100 d or 13 as 1101 e or 14 as 1110 and 15 as 1111 f or 15 as 1111 now we'll use the same relationships to convert a hexadecimal number to binary and binary number to hexadecimal okay we'll use the same relationship so we'll take some examples and let's see how we do that okay so let us take uh, some examples on hexadecimal to binary conversion okay so let us take uh, a hexadecimal number let's say one zero a four okay and we have to convert it into equivalent binary form so the trick which is used in hexadecimal to binary conversion is that we have to represent each of the digit or symbol individual 
symbol or digit in the hexadecimal number in terms of 4 bit binary numbers. So, we have to represent 1 in terms of 4 bit binary number, 0 in terms of 4 bit binary number, A that is 10 in terms of 4 bit binary number and 4 in terms of 4 bit binary number. So, 1 is actually 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 is 4 zeros, A that is 10, 10 is uh, 2 to 3, so 0, uh, sorry, 1, 0, 1, 0, this is 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 8 plus 2, okay, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, okay, 2 to the power 3 plus 2, 1, 8 plus 2, 10, okay, and 4 as 0, 1, 0, 0, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, okay, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, here we have represented each of the hexadecimal symbols which are involved in this hexadecimal number 10A4 in terms of 4 bit groupings or 4 bit binary representation, 4 bit binary representations. Okay. So, why 4 bits? I have already told you that a total of 16 symbols are available in hexadecimal symbol, uh, the hexadecimal number system which is 2 to the power 4. So, we require 4 bit groupings of binary numbers to represent each of the 16 symbols in the hexadecimal system. Okay, 4, 2 to the power 4, that is why. So, we can write the given hexadecimal number 10A4 in binary as 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 in binary form, okay, in binary form. So, this is the 4 bit representation, okay. This is for 1, this is for 0, this is for A or 10, okay, and this is for 4, 1, 0, A, 4 in binary form. So, this is how we converted this in term into a binary number. Now, another important thing is that you can also write this as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Why? Because these three zeros here, they cause no change, they cause no effect on the value of the binary number. Okay? So, you can uh, take, a, take them out and write it in this way. Okay? So, let us take another example. Let us consider another example, another hexadecimal number which we have to convert into binary. Let us say that number B, um, C, F, 8, E. We have to convert the given hexadecimal number into binary form. Now, before that, we must know that C stands for 12, C stands for 12, F stands for uh, 15 and E stands for 14, okay, in the alphanumeric hexadecimal number system, okay. Uh, so, 
now we have to convert it into the given binary representation so we have to represent each of the individual symbols in 4 bit binary representation so 12 or c okay can be represented as uh, 8 plus 4 okay 1 1 0 0 okay 1 1 0 0 okay in terms of the sum of weights 1 1 0 0 for 12 or C next F or 15 can be represented as 1 1 1 1 okay 1 1 1 1 4 ones and uh, 8 can be represented as 1 0 0 0 okay 2 to the power 3 2 to the 0 2 to the 1 2 to the 2 this is 2 to the power 3 1 0 0 0 and e or 14 can be represented as 1 1 0 0 sorry it is 14 so it is uh, 1 1 1 0 okay 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 8 plus 4 plus 2 this is 8 2 to the power 3 plus 4 2 to the power 2 plus 2 2 to the power 1 okay 1 1 1 0 this is the 4 bit representation of each of the individual symbols okay now in order to convert this into binary form we have to combine these 4 bit groupings so c f 8 e in binary form is 1 1 0 0 this is for c 1 1 1 1 this is for f 1 0 0 0 this is for 8 and 1 1 1 0 this is for e okay this is c this is f this is 8 and this is e c f 80 this is the binary representation of the given hexadecimal number c f 8 e okay so now let us uh, take uh, another example okay we'll take another example and see how we can convert the given number hexadecimal number in binary form okay so let that number be uh, b a hexadecimal point and 3 we have to convert it into the binary equivalent form okay so here the same process we have to represent each of the symbols involved in the hexadecimal number into 4 bit binary representation okay so b is actually 11 okay b is 11 so b or 11 can be represented as 1 0 1 1 okay 1 0 1 1 this is actually 8 plus 2 plus 1 this is 8 to the power 3 this is 2 to the power 1 and this is 1 to the power 0 next a is which is 10 it is 8 plus 2 this is 1 0 1 0 and 3 which is 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 so all we have to do now is to combine them so b a point uh, the hexadecimal point in which is the hexadecimal number in binary form can be represented as 1 0 1 1 for b 
1 0 1 0 for a then the binary point okay where the hexadecimal point is the same position that should be the binary point and then the 3 0 0 1 1 this is the binary representation this is the hexadecimal point and this is the binary point the same place the binary point will be now this is b this is a and this 4 bit grouping is 3 okay and the hexadecimal point and the binary point they coincide with each other okay so this is uh, so far we have discussed around three examples related to hexadecimal to binary conversion all have the same procedure identify the individual symbols that are present in the hexadecimal number represent each symbol of the hexadecimal number in terms of four bit binary groupings four bit representations of binary strings of zeros and ones and then you combine them together to get the final binary representation of the hexadecimal number the hexadecimal point and the binary point they coincide with each other okay so <clears throat> here we have discussed uh, the process of hexadecimal to binary conversion using uh, around three examples so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day. Thank you very much.